So, day two, VMworld, uh, joined here by Dean Chozar, who's Director of Product Management for Security. Dean, a lot of buzz going on about security. Steve mentioned it in his keynote. What is VMware's vision for security in the virtual world? Uh, thanks, Matthew. So, um, we're looking to really help accelerate our customer journey to the cloud. Had a tremendous amount of success in the last year, over a thousand customers uh, with our vShield products. And uh, also very excited to say that we have a, a growing ecosystem of partners around this. So um, somewhere around 10 or 11 partners are actually showcasing some of the proof of concepts mm -hmm. at VMworld. And uh, it's all about really helping to create an automation process. So when you, when, you, uh, when you expect to get a VM instantly in the cloud, private, public, hybrid, um, ideally what you'd like to see is that the VM is automatically protected and compliant, and that's exactly what we help do. Excellent, thank you. All right. So we're going to walk around the show floor now, get some of these vendors that have the solutions announced that Dean mentioned, and get them to tell us what their message is. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome. So, come over to the first vendor, CA, been joined by Nimrod Vax, Senior Director of Product Management. Nimrod's going to take us through the CA solution they have for really controlling your users in a virtual world. Uh, managing the administrators of these uh, new virtualized cloud environments is a, is a real challenge for an uh, organization, especially when they start to migrate their critical and sensitive applications into those uh, private clouds yeah. and hybrid clouds. Uh, the uh, vCenter administrator, instead of having to use the console to log into these environments, can just select the account he wants to use and automatically click on auto login and he uh, automatically is logged in to the, uh, to the uh, environment, to the uh, VM, or it can be also the ESX console if he's allowed to do that, yeah. and uh, all of these actions is, are now audited and, re and, and recorded. All right, let's find these security guys. So I'm here with Eric Chu, president of High Trust. Eric, clouds on everyone's lips here. Obviously, security is a key part. I know you guys have some great technology about that. So, how does High Trust help with the cloud security? Definitely. And thank you for having us. Uh, High Trust addresses access control, policy enforcement, and audit quality logging for VMware vSphere. So, let me walk you through uh, some of the capabilities that we're introducing here. So, we have. Um, an integration with CA, yeah. and when you add an annotation and label to CA, that automatically uh, gets replicated to High Trust Appliance okay. as a policy. So we automatically create a tag and policy within High Trust that allows you to enforce those same policies that CA is enforcing on the virtual machine side, also on the virtual infrastructure side. And so this is uh, just some of the integration work that we've been doing with our partners. Great, thank you very much. Ah, Bitdefender. Here with Kelly, pre-sales manager. Kelly, I believe you're one of the new guys who have signed up to the Endpoint Security Program and have something to tell us. Absolutely. Uh, Bitdefender have recently produced the Security Virtualized Environments product, which is a comprehensive security solution, obviously specifically architected for virtual environments. Um, it's due for press release today and uh, due out later this month. So okay. when installed in a virtual machine environment, mm -hmm. it um, integrates with the vShield version 5 driver, okay. um, allows the virtual driver to offload to the Bitdefender Security yep. Virtual Appliance for antivirus scanning. Um, here within the vCenter um, console, you can see under the general vShield, vShield uh, tab that obviously Bitdefender is integrated, yep. and if we go to the endpoint here, it shows that 100% it's um, okay, so everything's secure. All yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, so this really helps then when I system runs a real-time scan, my virtual machine slows down, this can help them with the offloading? Yeah, and it eliminates that boot time gap. Excellent. Uh, where are we going to go next? Let's look at the map. Help if I hold it the right way. So we're over at the Kaspersky stand now. I'm joined by Michael. Michael, another vendor that's joining the EPSEC program. Really excited about this. Lots of buzz in Europe about you guys. What is Kaspersky bringing to the virtual security world? We are uh, introducing our uh, first agentless antivirus for virtualization security. And this uh, is your product then that talks to vShield and vCenter? Yep, correct, correct. And it gives uh, registration information of all the machines that are protected in the environment. Okay. So we know all the virtual clients that are uh, on the host that are being protected by KSV. When can customers start getting their hands yep. on this? Early next year, early next year. Um, so we're looking to do a, a, an early beta, um, probably right around the turn of the year, and then uh, you'll probably see it in the uh, first quarter of next year. Excellent, I'm uh, looking, for, looking out for my email next year. Perfect. Thank, Thank you me. very much.
So here we are over at the McAfee stand, joined by Ben, Senior Product Manager at McAfee. Ben, a lot of interest in virtual security here. What are McAfee doing in this space? So McAfee has several solutions in virtual security, specifically around uh, optimizing virtual environments. So our solution, McAfee, for management for optimized virtual environments, we have a solution that we've released last year that has yep. support for multi-platform, and now we're implementing directly with vShield Endpoint EPSec okay. 2.0. So what we're showing here is the configuration where we manage our offload server with the uh, McAfee agent connected to the Linux server. And then we show here the configuration and policy for the move from vShield. Looking forward to getting my hands on it. Thank you very much. So here we are over at the Semantic stand. We've got Paul. Paul's one of the senior product managers at Semantic. Paul, lots of buzz going on about security here. Dean Super Sessions, all focusing on this. What is Semantic doing in this area? Yeah, definitely, Matt. So, uh, you know, we're hearing a lot of customers talking about issues around uh, in AV storms and having lots of disk I.O. when their clients are updating. And we've really started to look at how we can solve those problems for our customers. Our endpoint protection 12.1 product has allowed us to significantly reduce disk I.O. Uh, when customers are running scans and when they're, you know, general uh, using their machines. And we've, we've made a lot of inroads, but we're also starting to look at how we can use uh, VMware's, you know, vShield endpoint to actually yep. start to further offload some of the, uh, the processing technology that we have have in the product okay. today. Okay. Uh, so at some point towards the end of next year, we're probably going to be sort of GAing the code and customers should be able to get their hands on it at that point. Super, thank you very much. Okay, no problem, thanks so much. Be wary, wary, quiet. I'm hunting Richard.